B3121 device. Password spraying using Cobros protocol. So this video is based on top fun with LDAP and Cobros in AD environments. Right, only flutters and thought gone 2018. So we will be using Hamidal Clients package for password spraying using Cobros. The bash script will simply need one of the usernames and one KNF along with the username list and the password provided. The bash script will set the RLAM and KDC page on the input provided. Before running the script, make sure that you have configured ETC this all properly. So let's go back to the attacking machine. Okay, so I've installed the package, Hamidal Cobros Clients, and I've set the etc as all. My domain is ejlab.com, and the name server is 10.10.253, which is the domain controller IP. Right. And the command to run the script is as follows the script name, the domain name, the domain controller IP, or the domain controller name, username list, and the password to be sprayed. Let's fire the command. Right. And yes. So we have sprayed it and we got a successful login on all these user accounts. Let's have a look at the logs of DC for Cobros. We'll go to the domain controller. Uh, and let's look at the email block security for one minute. No, uh, we did not get anything. Right, why? It's because Cobros login is disabled by default. You have to enable Cobros authentication login to go and see the advanced policy configuration and we have to set Cobros login. So let's go and see the domain controller. Oh, let's set this thing in the advanced audit policy configuration. Let's set everything to failure. Right, so we'll look at the failure logs. We are much more interested in that. So we'll set everything to failure. Let's update the group policy GP update slash false. Let's do this one more time. Okay, so we have enabled Cobros logging and we'll again start password spraying. policy update has been set let's again go back to our attacking machine and let's spray it again okay so we have sprayed it let's go and set the domain controller now let's look at the email login now we should be looking at the email log on failures right Yes, we got it. Cobras pre-authentication failure, which failed eventually. So the event ID to look out for this 4771, which is the pre-authentication failure, right? So that's it for this video on password spraying using Cobras protocol. Thanks for watching.